sister, baby. My mama told me, son, always be a good boy. Don't ever play with God. All right, so I got an update for you guys in regards to Arcade 1-Up and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. As you guys know, uh, the online is still not available, and the emulator they are using is Flycast Dojo. And uh, for a quick recap, uh, as you guys know, several months ago, I made a video saying that this would not be ready for another six to eight months, and that timeline started somewhere back in September. Uh, a lot of the other devs that I've talked to in the community probably said a year and then others said probably never. And so uh, there's some talk about that. But at any rate, um, I've been following this for now for about a month uh, as far as some of these updates regarding uh, Flycast Dojo. And I can't say particularly if this pertains directly to Arcade 1-Up, but just wanted to give you guys some insight because there is no official answer. Uh, they dodge all the questions. Um, a few days ago, uh, John D was on a live stream with Kong and he mentioned something about uh, they gave the issue or they gave it whatever the situation is uh, black back to the Flycast Dojo team to figure it out. So as you guys can go here, uh, this is the GitHub for Flycast Dojo. And like I've said, this emulator is brand new. This is nothing against the Flycast Dojo team. Uh, but things like this take time, you know, to figure it out using different boards. Everything is just not plug and play. Uh, you just can't copy and paste code just because it works for the Raspberry Pi or for PC. Don't expect it to just automatically work because you have SOC codes, you have kernel errors, uh, you have a number of things uh, that goes on within the background and you don't physically know what the issue is until you start getting in there uh, coding. You can't look at PC and say, hey, Flycast Dojo is automatically gonna work. And so again, this emulator is brand spanking new. I think I found out about it and saw it first running uh, back in 2019. But we'll take a quick look here. As you can see that there is a memory leak issue uh, for Flycast Dojo using too much RAM on Arch Linux. And one of the reasons why this will catch your attention is because the main issue is, uh, remember, uh, Flycast Dojo is meant to run a number of different games uh, for the emulator is not particularly pertaining to Marvel versus Capcom 2. But as you can see here in one of the lines they are using the Marvel versus Capcom 2 Japanese ROM version. And this is primarily what they're having an issue with. So keep in mind out of all the games that uh, Flycast Dojo can run, if you guys are familiar with Rycast and Redream, you know, it runs all the uh, Sega emulated games. But again, primarily, Naomi Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is the topic of discussion here, having some serious memory leak issues. Uh, this was updated weeks ago, and I knew about this uh, weeks ago. I just decided to wait to make a video now to see if there was any updates. Uh, but this is one of the issues that they are addressing um, as of right now. Again, you know, you can have something run. Uh, does it run at 100% or there optimization issues? There's just too many uh, different things here. And so, you know, my belief and, you know, obviously based upon things that have gone on within the community is that they probably thought this would sometime work, but more or less uh, they were intending to go into development knowing you would have it in your home and maybe think that it would be okay to have it sitting in your home for three months, four months, or whatever, thinking it could work. Because, you know, one of the things that definitely caught my attention was that none of this was mentioned at Evo. Uh, they knew then that they did not have some type of network interface uh, for Marvel vs. Capcom 2 while they were at Evo. In fact, Justin Wong uh, indicated on their follow-up live stream, like, yeah, we just got network capability and we're going to start testing. So they planned all that. They planned all of that uh, ahead of time, knowing that none of this would be testing. And my understanding was even back uh, when they were supposed to be fixing it, uh, they had some people trying to work on it. They didn't have a network interface, uh, even at that time back in September, October, and November. And so uh, now remember the Flycast Dojo team now has to try to work on uh, whatever it is uh, that they're having issues with as far as optimization. But keep in mind, they weren't even here yet. If you guys recall the last video that I made 
uh, with Flycast Dojo, uh, one of the lead devs on the team said that you know they weren't even aware of online capability at that time for single board computers. They referenced somebody else that probably was working on it. So this is their first time seeing all of it. And keep in mind, you know, one of the issues that I have with this situation is that this isn't a uh, arcade one up isn't a hobby. They're not like some of us tinkering and whatnot. This is a company providing hardware uh, for you to enjoy and you have it at a cost. Now the Flycast Dojo team and the devs, these are community uh, related people. These are individuals volunteering their time. I don't know if uh, they have some additional paid incentive, but when they first started whatnot, just like us in the Raspberry Pi community, tinker boards and whatnot, they're out there, hobbyists. This is a hobbyist thing. So now they relate, they are, relying on the hobby community once again to fix whatever is going on based upon the comments that John D said last video that they gave it back to the Flycast team. So uh, for you customers out there, this is a huge issue. Again, I've said this is worse. It's not on the same scale as Cyberpunk, but this is much worse than Cyberpunk because this is all experimental. No testing has been done. Even now I ordered the orange pie for myself and some of the devs. We know we're not promising retro pie running or anything because you got to test. You got to tinker first before. And, you know, we're hobbyists. We put stuff out there for free, you know, for the most part. But this is a paid for company selling you a product, giving you a guarantee on something that that that's not even in trial yet. I mean, that's never been done. Uh, Marvel versus Capcom 2 online has never been uh, fully implemented anywhere uh online to the best of my understanding i know we have the xbox 360 playstation 3 uh, you have uh what is it fight kate uh you have that you know you can play the game i have it on my gpi uh unit running on my other single board computers but as far as online connectivity this is all brand new it's not like they can borrow code and see exactly what's going on you know from another team or whatever the case might be they're figuring it out and so uh, that's where they are at this stage. Now, again, I can't speak directly to their situation because whatever it might be, it still isn't working. But hopefully this gives you guys some additional insight as to uh, where the Flycast Dojo team is in terms of getting something uh, running or even having it running the way that it should on Arch Linux. Uh, memory leakage, again, this was dated uh, about a month ago because this is where I first you know, saw it. And so uh, you guys can see all of the, the specs here, uh, the things that they are using with pl uh, platform OS. Open Flycast from within Flycade, Flypack, then challenge someone to play for 30 minutes. Uh, finish the match, Flycast will remain in memory on the background, eating RAM. And then of course you have all of these different uh, rendered issues down here. Uh, but again, the, the game that is mentioned here uh, that they're primarily having issues with is uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Japan version. Um, let me see, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Japan version. I'm not sure how that relates to how the Dreamcast was, but I know they're using the original arcade ROM um, as far as that's concerned. But hopefully this gives you guys some type of update uh, in regards to where the development process is in general. Uh, and remember, anytime you're working with a GitHub or uh, not GitHub, I'm sorry, but the Flycast or any of these emulator teams, you guys can read all these account notes because it's all uh, public information. It's not something somebody's, you know, being done in secret uh, in terms of uh, emulation and also uh, performance. But, you know, it is sad to know that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 still isn't running. Uh, we have no idea uh, for, you know, a lot of you customers out there if it's going to run and then secondly you'd have no idea exactly what the performance might be and just to show you guys also know even though nfl blitz is officially online with uh, with rk one up you really didn't see much advertisement about it um i know i made my video and then subsequently it was weird that the next day after i made my video they made an official announcement i think on their uh twitter or instagram but there was no really a big official announcement saying that they finally got it working. And, and even at that, just so you guys know, the emulation on it is still off. It's running too fast and there's still glitches with it, uh, regardless of what anybody can say. And so uh, there are issues with NFL Blitz is running way uh, too fast. I may post a comparison video. And from my understanding, that was something that they uh, 
constructed themselves is not using any form of emulation is not using MAME or anything of that nature but uh, again uh, right now Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is not running online uh, there are some uh, memory leakage with the Arch Linux and so who knows when they will be able to get this you know up and running and typically an issue like this the time frame for it would usually probably take about a month maybe a good month and a half and then of course you got to go back into testing notice some other things from there and then go back into testing and then uh, maybe optimize from there it is not an easy issue and again we've done this we've done this with the supreme team we've done this with the raspberry pi 4 uh, when we go into development and that's why sometimes uh, some of my videos are uh, show you how what's going on in the kitchen show you guys what's cooking show you guys some of the process so you have a better understanding of this timetable and so when I made that video of six to eight months it was grounded and rooted in actual testing and the things that we've done and the things that you guys have seen and for those of you who even personally know me who you know talk to me on a weekly or daily basis you guys have seen it this is nothing new i mean so uh, this was a big jump uh, they are not a software company they are a toy company and so they should probably stick to their guns and offer smaller forms of emulation that they know they could work but you know this is where companies you know that are coming in relying on the retro gaming community and hobbyists uh to fix their issues while they try to make a profit off of something so um, i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video and uh i hope to give you guys something soon but you know this sucks for you customers out there who invested six hundred dollars and knowing that you know primarily i i had intended to get this myself for online only and it's not working but if you guys want to enjoy it online watch my xbox 360 tutorials you can get marvel vs capcom 2 online at least with xbox and of course uh Ficate. not familiar with playstation 3 but um yeah it sucks because what if they don't get online and then by the time they get it online then there is a significant price drop and i mentioned that about nfl blitz and sure enough it happened uh with the sam's club versions of uh, and also best buy they dropped their prices too. uh costco they dropped their prices on nfl blitz and so now people spent 160 dollars for that finally got online and all those who were early adopters of 600 dollars and whatnot bought something and it was broken it wasn't fully compatible and so you guys got screwed out of your money when you could have waited until everything was fully implemented and um don't forget I did make that other video that I do believe that Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is coming to new consoles. Uh, we said maybe nine months, maybe 12. And then, you know, I started doing the math and I said, holy crap. That looks like E3. So stay tuned for around June, around E3. Maybe we will get an important announcement about Marvel vs. Capcom 2 coming out to new consoles. And then uh, I have another video about that uh, that I did with Glenn uh, Baisley back in August or early September as it was. And so uh, you guys should also pay attention. Uh, RK1UP did say that they uh, were not really making any more of these cabinets. That, that was a very limited release. And so everything that I mentioned in that video, everything that they're saying falls into a timeline. Uh, they're not re-releasing it because their license is going to be very short. It's going to be a very short time period. And some of these newer consoles and then probably show up on Steam uh, with a Marvel vs. Capcom 2 release. And if that happens, I know a lot of you people out there will be pissed because you could have waited to get the game on something else. I know it's a really Hail Mary, but I'm, I still believe it's coming to console and Steam. You guys who invest in money in this cabinet, you know, besides, you know, for gameplay, you know, it's a very nice looking cabinet, you know, as it is, if you want some Ikea furniture to look nice, it's a very nice uh, setup for that. But if you're looking for that online experience and whatnot, stay tuned to E3 around June, where you may see, and I strongly believe it, that it will come out uh, for the next gen console. So consider subscribing. This is Kill Dyke, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out and have a great day.